why is it that corporations spend millions, sometimes hundreds of millions, in advertisement? I've spoken about this before. You can have a corporation, uh, for example, uh, Nike, I'm just speaking an example. They spent 10 million euros on a commercial. And the only thing you see in that commercial is some guy running. Of course, you see the Nike shoes, of course. You see some pagan symbolism, of course, because they're pagan. The words Nike comes from Nike, is a Roman goddess of victory. And you hear this melody in the background. I spoke that before that melody has Greek magic in it or Pythagorean magic. Pythagorean magic is when you put um, mathematical rhythms in a song that causes the brain to get addicted to that melody. Most of the hits that come out have Greek magic in them. And that's why they spend 10 million, or so even 50 million euros on a co commercial. It lasts only 30 seconds and you have this weird melody in it. And you may think, why would you do that? Because this melody, which has Greek magic in it, together with the symbolism, causes you to develop an attachment to their logo, Nike. And because of this, they now have a hold on you without you being aware of it. They don't care whether you buy their product or not. A lot of people think advertisement is intended to cause you to buy their product. Now there are people that work at a corporation who are happy when you buy the product because then they can get a higher salary. They can get a bonus. And of course employees who don't know about anything will just go there to do their job, who have families to, to feed. They are glad that you buy the product because they think that their salary depends upon the products that are sold. Now look, if you work in a small shop or at a cafeteria, then indeed your wage depends on the income that of the products that are sold. But when it comes to those pagan corporations, I'm telling you how it works. They are Apollonists, okay? And to serve their king Apollo, they need to keep you in a state of anxiety. So they offer a product, hinting to you that something's wrong with you, and that this product will solve it. It's black magic. They want you to feel bad about yourself, so that you think. So, and then they associate the relief with their product. Even if you decide, I'm not going to buy that Nike, or I'm not going to buy that um, MacBook or whatever. The goal is to keep you in a state of anxiety. So now you want to relieve from that anxiety. And that's what the problem is small, that you are in a state of anxiety. Well, there are people, people that are trapped in buying a product. And they walk around with the product. But the real goal is to keep you in a state of anxiety. So advertisement is not intended to gain customers. It's used to gain customers by small corporations that want to make money, but overall advertisement is intended to keep you in a state of anxiety. That's how those Apollonists feed the, the demons. That's how they worship the, those demonic entities. Now you understand why those big corporations spend billi billions, and not what all those pagan corporations can spend billions on advertisement. advertisement is advertisement shapes your perception. They spend billions to shape your perception. Why? And often, it doesn't even lead to higher income for them. So they're spending money, and they don't get any money back for it. Then why is it? It's to keep you in a state of anxiety. Because it's you in a state of anxiety that enables them their witchcraft. So they can live off of ritual money. So I can't repeat it. Advertisement is not there to get more customers. It's there to keep you 
in a state of anxiety. Once you understand this, you'll understand why there's so much pressure placed on you. When you go, go to the mall, there's advertisements. When you're in the bus or the metro, there's advertisements. If you're driving your car, you'll see billboards. Why is that? Why do they, do they overwhelm your brain with all this data? To keep you anxious. Because once you're anxious, you can't think straight. And when you can't think straight, you can't make some decisions. And when you can't make some decisions, you can't worship Yahweh the right way. You can't walk by faith as Christ wants if you're in a state of anxiety. Because God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. There's no love, no power, and no sound mind, so no mental health on long term when the spirit of fear is there. So, when it gets you in an anxious state, you become vulnerable, extra vulnerable to evil spirits. And it's in that state that they hinder you from worshipping God. That's the goal of the Polonists. So from now on, when you feel the urge to buy some shoes, and you think, why do I want to buy those shoes? It's black magic being used upon you. I'm saying it as it is. Of course, advertisement has the effect that people come to buy products. But the main goal is to keep you in a state of anxiety. Because without a state of anxiety, you will begin to examine things. Because then you have space in your head to examine things. And you begin to see things that don't add up and then you want answers. And those answers can't be given to you because it doesn't add up. And if you continue like this, you'll end up with Christ. And the pagan rulers don't want that. They want you away from Christ in the relief seeking. That's why you have those celebrities who are fake presenting themselves with much luxury. And often they don't even own all that luxury. They don't, they don't own those cars, those houses, those private chests. They don't own any of that. It's just a show to deform your perception. To keep you anxious so that you will feel bad about yourself. So you would think, oh man, what type of crappy life do I have? Going to my job every day. Getting from paycheck to paycheck. And look at that guy. He has talent. He can sing. And look at how far he is. I can sing too, but nobody values me. I, I don't know. That's what they want you. That's how they want you to think. Advertisement is to Advertising is to deform your perception to keep you in the negative. Once you understand this, you understand much of what's going on around you. And for you ladies out there, those supermodels out there, don't emulate them. Because 99% of them are men. They are warlocks performing black magic on the public. That's you. They have those Three pubescent trannies. Those are young boys that have been transgendered around age 10 or 11. They're also part of the, of the Apollonist cult. And if those young boys get along with it, for the fame and all of that, and they put makeup on and all that, some get hormone treatment and all of that, and then they end up as some model agency. They are quite thin, tall, with a fierce look, which is male, but they're dressed as female. And with Photoshop, they perfect it. And they put it on billboards, or they, are, they come out in commercials, and that is repeated over and over again. Then you, a female, will see that over and over again, and you'll think that's how a beautiful woman ought to be. Thin, tall, with, with all that glitter on your face, with, all, with those revealing clothes, that's the image you're giving you. And this repeated over and over again, and unconsciously, I'm not saying consciously, unconsciously you begin to think, if I'm not like that, men don't want me. I'm going to, I'm going to reveal something to you, lady. Those men, those fashion designers, are men. 
Not only that, they are sodomites who have this urge for young boys. So they have pedophile tendencies. But in practice, they can't just give in to their pedophile tendencies because they'll get in trouble. So they're frustrated. And they are apologists also. So they hate females. So now the, this frustration of theirs that they can't openly go after young boys, that frustration they blame on females. And it's this frustration that they transfer onto females. How do they do it? They come with female role models that are unnatural. Because that teen figure is the figure that young boys have between ages 8 and 12. So, you have warlocks that keep themselves very thin, they pretend to be females, they put wigs on, high heels and all of that, they present it onto you as female role models, then you, the female, thinks, I need to be so thin. Now that thin figure is the figure of pre-pubescent boys. That's between ages 8 till, tw eight till 12, something like that. You have adult men, adult males with such a figure also. That is if you're athletes or someone that, that's into sports. In any way, you need to be a man, a male, to have such a figure. Such a role model is perfect for males, not for females. But they've convinced you, lady, that if you don't match that figure, you're ugly. They make you think, through conditioning, that men want that. And I'm telling you, it's a hoax. It's not real. Yet many women, women believe that. And they make much effort to be that thing, that, that figure that's not meant for females. By the way, females, females should have a little bit of body fat on, on their skin. Because that's healthy for females. If a woman is that thin, that's unhealthy. She will have problems with childbirth. If she has children, the children may have some defects because of it. She often also has mental issues. Also, so that's how the Polonist express a hatred towards females. And yet still, millions and millions of females follow those sodomite pedophilic Apollo worshippers that we call fashion designers. No, I'm not saying that all fashion designers are like that, no. You have heterosexual, natural-minded fashion designers, okay? They exist. But the world is run by devil worshippers, Apollonists, and they hate females. So wherever they rule, their hatred of females will be visible. And advertisements how they achieve it. Now look, I didn't want to talk about the fashion industry in this video, but now that I'm talking about advertisement, I thought let me just say as it is. Advertisement is intended to keep you in an anxious state. Advertisement is a form of pornography. That's what it is. So, that's it for now. Agree with Christ. Be at peace.